All right, we are back live. It's Bolo Punch Boxing Hour. Uh, we're talking about the uh, the Roy Jones Omar Sheikah uh, fight that's going to be coming up Pensacola, Florida, on this coming Saturday night, March twenty first. Integrated Sports Pay Per View. Roy Jones Jr. taking on Omar Sheikah. Twelve rounds of light heavyweights. Um, uh, we were, I was asking right before we got clipped uh, right there. I apologize for that. Um, is Omar Sheikah simply getting the gift of a Roy Jones name on his, on his, on his record? Or is Roy really here to fight? I think Roy's really here to fight. I think I don't think – I mean, that's the type of guy Roy is. He's not planning on going in there and just being a name on somebody's record. Uh, I think every time he goes in there, he, he looks for somebody that's going to be a challenge for him. And, uh, I mean – he plans on putting on a good show and uh, winning the fight. I mean, that that's what he looks for. He looks he looks to find the toughest fight that he has a feeling that he can win. Of course. I mean, well said. I mean, it, but it, it's, it's Roy trying to do things that he did very well a decade ago. Well, I mean, Anthony Henshaw, kind of like Anthony Henshaw. Exactly. He, uh, he raised to the challenge on that one. This was a younger... Stronger fighter that a lot of people said he shouldn't have fought. Yeah, and he and he got the job done. Um, I think Hanshaw was undefeated at the time. Though. I believe he was. Yeah. So, yeah, Roy these days still beating uh, undefeated fighters. I mean, that's that's weird to say. I I think he's going to beat Omar Sheikah. I'm I'm just worried about the youth that yeah, Omar brings to the table here. Roy did look like he got some of his speed back. I mean, he, obviously uh, Kelzagi made him look look old. But uh, Kalzagi... And make, Kalzagi was old himself. And Kalzagi makes young fighters look old, though. Yeah. Lacey. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, I mean, that that's not as big a deal as uh, as Roy I just proving himself once again to show that he, he deserves just to be sticking around and uh, and hanging in there, much like uh, Bernard Hopkins. Well, who is a freak of nature. <laughs> it has nothing to do with the real world at all. So... Um, also on that undercard, there's going to be a lot of MMA fights. You've got Bob Lashley uh, taking on Jason Guida. Uh, Bob Lashley is actually a former WWE wrestling star who is taking the Brock Lesnar Express all the way <laughs> to the world of MMA. So that should be interesting. Jason Guida is the uh, the brother of Clay Guida, both of them from Chicagoland area. That's a heavyweight fight. Um, and several others. So... Uh, this will be the first time that a real marquee boxing name like Roy Jones puts his name and stamp of approval on a mixed boxing and MMA event. Nestor, do you have any thoughts on that? You weren't really able to, to get a word in edgewise uh, when Eric was sitting here, but um, what, what are your thoughts on a, on a boxing MMA co-feature? Well, you know Are what? you interested in any way about that? Am I, am I interested in yeah. it? Love and and, and say it. I'm, you know what? I'm a boxing purist. I like boxing. Uh, I've never been much of a wrestling fan. I didn't watch wrestling when I was a kid. I mean, I remember names, you know, the Iron Sheik and you know, a couple I, of the... I, I was hoping we were talking about real sports here. <laughs> well, I, I've never been a wrestling fan. I've never been a, 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 an, an MMA fan. Um, I wa- out. Shut up, guys. I, I watch it uh, because it's on, and I like contact sports as far as that goes. Uh, but anything else... I'm a boxing purist. I, I just okay. I like the sport. So that's, not, that's all there is to not it. Not your thing. No, it isn't. Not so at all. you don't want to see this type of thing happen. Well, you know what? If it helps the sport of boxing, then I suppose it's it's got to be a good thing. If it's going to help both sports, then maybe it's a good thing. It's just not for me. Do you think it's possible that this will help both sports? Um, because if you ask me, I don't see a way for it to help both sports at the same time. I do because well, you're going well, to be drawing from both demographics, I, I, and, I, and I have to agree with Emil. I, I I really think that that you're going to have you're going to have a father and a son be able to come to a a a, a, a show and be able to watch the sports that they enjoy. Because let's face it, boxing has become an older sport. There's no question, um, and the MMA is your younger sport. But is it going to help? You pulled something out right there that I didn't expect, and I got to take my hat off to you. A father and a son can actually go to the same event and well, enjoy sure. it. You know, and, and, and that's not an angle I would have expected, first of all, for you to say. Second of all, for me to really be able to know, grab hold of. You're absolutely right. Yeah, because, I mean, let's face it. I mean, if, if, if you, you know, I'm 43 years old. If I had a 20-year-old son and, and he was big into MMA and I wasn't, this would be the perfect show for us. 
I like my boxing. He likes his MMA. We could sit. We could both sit and enjoy it. And and that's. I think that's what they're looking for. And and I believe that you're going to see a lot of bigger promoters start going to this. You're well, gonna Oscar's s- already thrown. Oh, his I, I I realize that. Yeah. I, I think you're going to see a lot of big promoters. I, I think you're going to see the Don King. Don King and, already wants and the and, and the and the Bob Arams and 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 Jose Suleiman. I think you're going to see a lot of. Them. I think that a this is where the money's at. And B, I really believe that that it can it can join the demographic, it can join the excuse me the demographics that boxing and, and MMA are looking for. You may draw some fans from the younger the younger people, you know, coming back to watch the actual sport of boxing, and you may draw some fans from the older people actually watching the the, the mixed martial arts fights. What? You know. I, I've never really given it a chance. Maybe I would enjoy it a whole lot more if I actually sat and watched it with a group of people and, as opposed to sitting by myself going, eh. Well, a 15-year-old that knows MMA backwards and forwards is also playing video games, in which case he knows who Roy Jones is. Well, sure. Yeah. It's a big enough name where a 15-year-old would have actually heard of him. And his but, dad will pay for the event because he wants to see Because he wants to see Roy. Well, yeah, what, what hopefully happens is is because of this economy, hopefully they get away from the pay-per-views and get to the ESPN, and that's going to jump sp- jumpstart the sport well, more than anything else. I, I think you've hit the nail on the head, Timmy. I, I think it's going to have to jump from the pay-per-views to the free stuff because you're going to find a lot of people in this economy that are going to look at it and go, well, here, here's a prime example. Eight or nine months ago, I wouldn't care if I paid thirty dollars or forty dollars to watch a fight on TV. I'd have paid it. Today, I look at it and go, "Not a chance." I'm watching that. On, you know, I'll I'm wait. Watching that on a legal feed yeah. on the internet. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll My wait. My friend Justin. <laughs> that or I'll wait. A, uh, that or I'll wait a week and watch it taped yeah. the following week. You know, I mean, granted, it, it's not live. I know what happens, but. I can still watch it. Yeah, I, you can't. You can't justify the thirty dollars anymore. That just ain't happening well, to the. And, and to 30, you find it for only and, you know, thirty, and, and, unless and, you're an AIG exec that's been getting some extra money. <laughs> well, you're oh, probably in this fight might group. be thirty dollars here for but, this Roy Jones fight. Uh, I think you're and, running into a lot cheaper. of yeah, thirty and forty dollars. There's a pay per view coming up here. In, in, Chavez in the, is going to be around. Yeah, it's, for forty bucks, it's thirty nine dollars. Ren was just reading it to me earlier, uh, but yeah. I, but you're looking more. I mean, we got Klitschko fighting on ESPN this week. We got we also got next, Sam Peter taking on Eddie Chambers the following week. Yeah, yeah. on on, on relatively free TV on Friday night fights. Oh, there you go. I mean, and, and you and, get a great telecast with Teddy Atlas sitting ringside. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, the top of the line. Yeah, the top I, of the line. I'd, I'd rather listen to Teddy Atlas than. Yeah, I, Max he, Kellerman. Any I even I like I, Max. Are I, you I like serious? Max. I love Max Kellerman. He isn't. I think he don't uh, say it. I think a lot of times that Lampley is my and, personal opinion. I think a lot of times I think Lampley and uh, and uh, what's his name Lennox Lewis sitting behind us here. Uh, a lot of times they get stuff wrong. You hear that Max Lennox? Gets right when we're, when we're watching the fight. He, I think Max watches a little Nester. bit more. He's from driving the, fans the sport track. But uh, Nester, just because your opinion's wrong and there's no big no, deal. it's not a matter. Of, you know what? <laughs> I, no, I know you can't are. Be wrong. Oh, I know you are. I, I just, I, I understand <laughs> that. I just, I, I just, it can I, be. But I got an F on a question that asked my opinion. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Damn it! We have to take a break. We'll be right back. Oh, we nope. Sorry, sorry, sorry. We have to talk about this because we're going to be covering this one. Me and Emil will be in Chicago, um, at the UIC Pavilion. Miguel Hernandez is taking on Luciano Perez. 10 rounds at middleweight. Also, Henry Coyle, just in time for St. Patrick's Day, about, about a week late. Yeah. Um, Henry Coyle to to be taking on the dreaded TBA uh, ju- at junior middleweights. Also, Andre Fonfara against Kendall Gould. Rita Figueroa back in the ring against Tammy Johnson. And Mike Kurzeja against Tony Dewey. Cannot wait. That is going to be, be exciting to be at UIC as well. Oh, we haven't done a, uh, an eight count fight in a while either. So let's take a break and we'll be right back with the fighter you should know, Golden League fighter you should know, right here on BoloPunchBoxingHour.com, streaming to you live as always on Ustream.tv. Hey guys, it's Chris. I got to tell you something. As crazy as things get around here covering fights,